Hello, Georgie Burns here. Today I'd like to show you how I made this card. Um, to make this card I'm using a stamp set Forever Fern. I'll be using that leaf, them two leaves and this big leaf here. For the sentiment I've got it from Peaceful Moments and it's just the word thank you. And I'm also using Waterfront for the speckled dots. My card base is blank card at eight and a quarter by five and seven eighths, scored at four and one eighth, folded in half. Also have a piece of crumb cake at five and five eighths by three and seven eighths, and a piece of white card stock at five and a half by three and three quarters. Let's go on top. For this, I have got these. Now for the life of me I cannot remember where these have come out of. What stamp set? I think it's a retired stamp set. I'm not sure. I found them loose in a box. Obviously I didn't put them away when I used them last and now I can't remember what box they belong in. So I've got them, I've got two of them, you'll see why in a minute. And I've also got some cutouts again. These are out of my maybe one day box. So I thought I'd use them. Just tags. I've got three in case I make a mistake. So to get started, we are going to stamp. On our white card with Forever Fern and I'm going to be using Pretty Peacock. So we'll stamp oh no, we'll do our corners first. So I've got a bit of scrap because I'm going to be stamping off. And with the big one I'm only going to be using them leaves so I'm only going to ink up that bit like that. And then I just put each one in a corner. Just go around each corner and do that. Like that. These are pretty, not it? Then I've got this leaf. I don't know if you can see that. And with this one, I just place it straight up and about in the top half. And just pop it down like that. And turn the page round, the card round, and do the same coming down the other way. Like that. I've overlapped the stem bits there. Right, now then, I've got these two leaves. One bends to the left and one bends to the right. So I'm using the one that bends to the right, no, left. And I'm just going to stamp that there and there. Oh, I did that wrong. Never mind, I might as well use the whole one, same one. That there. And that one there. I was meant to use each stamp twice and I didn't. Right, that's just finished with Pretty Peacock. Bring in the crumb cake and we're just going to put some speckled dots just round the, flower, the leaves. That's the front done. Now I'm going to bring in one of these and try and stamp thank you on it. Straight. Like 
There you are. It's turned out all right in Gromke. So I'll save these oh, for another day. Right, finish with that. Now we'll put our card together. So I want some glue. And I'm going to glue this. to my card base. Now with this what I did I cut off one uh, row of these rings. Don't need them. And then I stuck these next to the other one, so that you've got two points sticking out. I stuck this, the sentiment, in the middle. Done. Then I've got a bit of double-sided tape, not a lot, just enough to cover the back of the sentiment. Push it right down and then peel the backing off. sticking Worked the first time. I don't know why it's not working this time. Ah, there you are. Right. I then got some gold thread. And wrapped it round my fingers a few times. It's 
spread it out and stuck it to the um, backing. Yeah, that's fine. And then I got some dimensionals and popped four dimensionals on the back. Dimensionals help keep the uh, gold thread on. And then we place this in the middle and it is just wide enough. Make sure it's straight. I don't think you can see that with a thread. There you are. You see all the thread up here. Then we just add some gems. Right, I'm going to add one there, one there, and one there. And we have it. Hope you like it. If you do, give us a thumbs up. If you'd like to see more of my videos, please subscribe. And if you uh, press the bell icon, you'll be notified of any more videos I upload, which is usually on Monday, Wednesday and Friday. All I can say is thanks for visiting, and I hope to see you again soon.